All right, guys, welcome to week three episode of Man Crush Monday here at Dynasty Football Focus. Uh, as I said, this is week three waiver wire ads who I'm going out and checking the waiver wire for in my leagues. Uh, first, I want to just give a quick review of the um, previous two waiver wire ads, uh, two guys that I had advocated for. This last week, um, I was all on the Adam Humphreys hype train, and if you didn't go out and grab him, uh, you missed out on a great week. I started in him in a couple lineups, and he performed admirably, especially in PPR leagues. He was targeted 12 times, had 9 receptions for 100 yards. Uh, pretty good uh, for this second-year player. I know that Tampa Bay was down in that game and obviously throwing the ball a lot to try and make a comeback, but I was... Um, you know, impressed with what I saw from him and as far as route running goes. And it's important to note, I think, that his targets have gradually increased every week so far this season. So I do think that he will continue to be a part of that Tampa Bay offense moving forward. Uh, our other previous waiver wire ad was Quincy Anunwa from the New York Jets. Obviously, they had a terrible week this week with uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick throwing six interceptions. But he was still targeted 11 times. Uh, he did only end up with four receptions for 37 yards. But, again, I think that was just uh, due to the inaccuracy and uh, bad throws from Fitzpatrick and just kind of the flow of the game, um, not necessarily a result of his own play. Uh, it, it is important to note that that the Jets did go out and claim Austin Severian Jenkins from waivers today. But... Uh, and a lot of people, a lot of people on Twitter and other places are claiming that this is going to cut into Anunwa's work. I don't think so. I don't see that happening, at least uh, not right off the bat. And I think that Anunwa's going to be given every chance to retain his role that he has. So moving on to week three, this current week, I don't really have any guys that I'm dying or drooling over adding this week. Um, it's kind of slim pickings out there on the waiver wire as it is most weeks. Of course, you've got your injury fill-ins, but those are pretty obvious, and you're going to be competing with with the majority of your league mates uh, to grab those guys. Um, you know, uh, thinking about Orleans Darkwa with with Shane Vereen going down for the year. Um, you know, situations like that. Uh, I don't want to really get into those because those are pretty pretty obvious for most people. Um, a couple guys, though, that I want to touch on real quick that I think might be available on your league's waiver wire and it's definitely worth taking a look at. Uh, the first one is Jay Samaro, tight end for the Tennessee Titans. Uh, Second-year player, well, I guess this is technically his third year, but he missed all of last year with an injury. Um, he was targeted four times, had three receptions for 59 yards. He was filling in for an injured Delaney Walker. Um, He's definitely got some pass-catching ability. Um, kind of interesting that the Jets cut ties so early with him. He was a second-round pick in 2014. Uh, but he has great size, 6'5", 265 pounds. Um, I think when Delaney Walker comes back, uh, if he's back this week, that kind of pushes Amaro back into irrelevance for the time being. But I think that he's a great um, end-of-bench stash if you've got the room. Um Depending on your league's taxi squad rules, you may be able to stash him there. But he is only owned uh, in just over, let's see, it's uh, about 11.5% of leagues on MFL. So there's a chance he's available. And if that's the case, uh, I, <clears throat> I think I would like him on the end of my bench, especially if you're weak at the tight end position. I think you could develop into a nice pass-catching talent there. Uh, the other guy that I'm looking at this week is Alex Collins. Um, we know that Thomas Rawls hasn't been performing, and they was just announced that he's going to be out. Uh, Christine Michael gets pushed into the starter's role, and obviously that moves Alex Collins into the second running back role um, there, at least for the, the early down work, I think. And he did get a little bit of work this Sunday. Um, he had four attempts for 12 yards, and he did have two catches out of the backfield for 19 yards. Now, they were up big in that game. Um, but I think that uh, Alex Collins could eventually get some work. Uh, he's a guy that I wouldn't mind on the end of my bench either, and I think a lot of people cut ties with him uh, throughout the period of the offseason between rookie drafts and, and actual start week one. Um, 
He's only owned in just over 14% of leagues, so there's a chance he's available out there too. Uh, so depending on your positional needs and uh, where you would like to have stashes on your bench, um, Alex Collins and Jay Samaro, two guys that I'm looking at this week uh, on my Man Crush Monday.